Hey what's up everyone welcome back to one touch bi my name is Saravanan Vajrave and today we are going to learn how do we stop bloating your content store in IBM Cognos in general over a period of time your content store is going to grow because of number of factors as you see in this diagram it could be because of number of external namespaces configured, your report specification, report output, data source connections, busting of report and sending by email notification, packages, scheduling reports, and published models. All this over a period of time, as I said, if you leave it untouched for about a year, it could drastically grow to the bigger size. Let's see in detail what are those that causes your content store to grow bigger. In general, the content store bloating matrix, what I said in the previous, the number of users, it matters a lot. And number of saved reports against each user, number of saved views, number of folders, number of schedules, number of framework manager packages. I have just come up with a estimation factor and this information you can find it even in the IBM Cognos portal. The named user assume that you have 1000 users configured for your Cognos connection portal to access and out of 1000 users assume you have active users 250. In that active users 250 we have concurrent users who are accessing the report at any given time 50 people in that case, the temp space requirement for Cognos to process the aggregated data, etc., it needs about 4.76 GB. Saved reports, 1 to 10 pages for each report, and 2 per user for public and my folder copies. In that case, it is approximately 340 KB per report it is going to consume. And assume that there are 1001 reports are taken into the consideration. In that case, it itself 0.32 GB. And similarly, the saved reports 10 to 100 pages. If you take that into the consideration, you see from 1 to 10 pages and 10 to 100 pages, it is gradually growing bigger with 2.09 GB for 5004 copies. And same custom views again 1 to 100 for 3000 numbers 0.71 GB when the same is growing to the 100 to 1000 rows the saved custom view of each report and 8000 numbers 2.67 GB it is like four times the growth is happening and the folders which you have uh, my folder and the public folder public folder is the one which is accessible to anyone and my folder is the private view so if anyone is going to store the report with their user credentials against the private view that also matters to bloat your content store growth over a period of time any user who's been removed in that case the my folder content is kind of inaccessible but unless you remove it in that case the my folder content against that specific user kind of a dormant which is going to sit in your content store so these are all matters and framework manager model assumes that you have 15 models published it is going to take 0 0.09 gb which is very less and the framework manager model which has about tables 25 each that doesn't make any difference and the query subjects also it's not going to make any difference it is only the matters that the framework manager metadata that got published and schedules i have 175 number of schedules per day which is going to take literally a 0 0.004 gb very very less and the empty content store alone if anyone who wants to just export the full content of empty content store nothing has been configured it is going to take 0 0.002 gb and database transaction logs this this is kind of optional i would say that by default the database transaction logs we won't be capturing it or enabling on the audit uh, tracing point of view if anyone who's been enabled that audit trace in that case the database transaction log that means 
any report that you're going to fire it is going to have a sql attached to that report query that sql will be traced in the xqe log file and that is again going to grow in your cognos content store so overall 13.5 gb it's growing it is really really a bigger number in general the content store we just try to limit under 2 gb if your content store size is growing beyond 2 gb then the zip file is going to split into multiple sub zip files it's called z01 z02 etc and z0n and that is how it is getting split by default in such situation you are forced to take all the sub zip files along with the master zip file and move it to the another environment where you want to reclone the cognos setup so today in our exercise we are going to learn how to limit our content store size growth by simply setting up the content store retention policy using the maintenance task and also one time we are going to remove or clean the content store without much delay let's quickly jump into our ibm cognos portal open your ibm cognos portal provide your username and password login once you landed to the welcome page click on manage administration console go to configuration under configuration click on content administration over here we are going to create the content retention policy for all the existing content as you see over here new content maintenance in the drop down choose retention rule update provide the name i'm going to name it as cm retention or rule update provide the description and screen tape if you want and click next over here you have to choose all the content that is there in your ibm cognos connection portal you may not be sure that where and all your reports are getting stored so just choose the team content and the my folders too because in some cases users will create some private copies of report even that needs to be restricted to the retention policy what we are going to set i'm going to choose all of them take it to the right click ok and here is the important step under retention settings run history by default when you make zero it is going to keep it for unlimited number of occurrence and the same over here in general for operational reporting i would recommend don't go for duration in days you go with number of occurrence because operational report doesn't need the previous runtime history all you need is at any given day you need to run the report and that should hold at any given point of time the previous successful run i would recommend to keep the number of occurrence to the maximum five so keep it default and the report output version as i said it's for operational it doesn't make sense anything to go beyond one occurrence if you keep it for last five report output it doesn't make sense at any given time you need to see the previously uh, ran output version so go with the default the number of occurrence one that's good so i would recommend only these two in some cases if some customer or clients are interested to see you know what is my run history for the last five days or last one week in that case i would recommend to keep it the duration last seven days and the report output versions you can keep it again in days last one day so it is our choice i just go with number of occurrence five and number of occurrence one and the moment you define this what happens though your environment was up and running for last one year and you might have had about 5000 plus run histories and 5000 plus report output versions over a period of uh, one year so the moment you enforce this five and one 
it is going to pulse and keep it at any given time. The report or run history maximum of five occurrence for each report or each schedule. And similarly, the report output version maximum of one occurrence. Let's see how that setting is going to take place. With that, just proceed to the next and click finish. And you can see the summary over here. The retention settings you set run history for five occurrence and output version one occurrence. We are good and run it. We just check the checkbox to see the output whether it is successfully run or not. And over here you refresh until you see that the success message or failure message is printed. We are good. It ran success without any error message. And it's cool. Now we need to check the retention rule update whether it got updated at the report level or not. For that you just open any of the report properties. I have some of the reports which is residing under team content samples and any of the report you can just open. So I'm just going to open one of the report and go to the properties and over here under report tab under advanced you see the run history. I have set the retention rule for five occurrence. It is set to five and report output version set to one occurrence. We are good. Let's switch back to the IBM Cognos administration and the same I'm going to change it just for our demo purpose. Go to the content maintenance and instead of five occurrence, I'm going to keep it the duration of one day or let's make it seven days and the duration over here I'm going to keep it for one day okay let's rerun this retention rule update it ran successfully close this go back to the welcome page go to the team content and check the same retention rule update whether it is updated or not for this specific report, go to the report tab, click on advanced and see the changes. The run history you set it for seven days and report output version we set it for one day. By this way, at any given time, we can just limit the number of run history and the report output version which you want to maintain. So this way you can just stop the bloating of your content store growth. Okay, you did it for one time this content store growth and what about for the existing content store which was exist for last one year. So as I said, when you run the retention rule update, it is going to purge the remaining data when you run the first time. I hope it is clear. And now with the setting is taken in place. I'm going to create the full content export and you see the size of the full content export. Let's create the full content export by clicking on new export over here in the configuration content administration. Provide that CM full content export Click next and choose select the entire content store include the user account information and this is going to enforce that you are going to export the full content of the content store that includes the user account roles group or any security uh, changes you made. Click next and go on and provide the password for your content store to encrypt and decrypt when you import it. So I'm going to provide some password and remember this password and this is the one which you need to use when you are trying to import back. Click OK, click Next and finish it and run now and choose the checkbox to see the details of the export. Click OK. Keep refreshing this until you see the success message. There you go. Your full content export is completed. Let's see the Cognos content store uh, full content export size 
by getting into the cog root location and get inside the deployment folder where it creates all the full content export by default and the name what we have provided is cm full content export and the size is 265 mb our content store is very much under control and in the production system i would expect this to grow maximum of 600 to 800 mb and not beyond that or in the worst case it can be under 1 gb so which is very much under the control and we can proceed with this and this is not going to take more time in content store export in general when your content store is growing beyond 6 gb what happens it is going to take about six hours or beyond that and during that time if any of your scheduled reports are sitting and waiting for this job to complete in that case the scheduled reports goes for a task because it won't get chance to run the report so with this smart content store retention policy you are going to avoid the performance block that is going to create for your scheduled reports or interactive reports that anything runs during the business daytime i hope you got the clear picture on how you can restrict the content store growth is a very very important information that required for any cognos administrator to keep monitoring your cognos system to go healthy and stable state with this i'm going to end this recording if anyone was not subscribed my channel i request to subscribe the channel to get the latest update on both cognos tutorials as well as python tutorial until i come back with another interesting video this is saranan vajravid signing off from one touch bi have a good day and take care